In an earlier video, we described how my club rigs our sunfish sailboats. In this video, we'll show you some additional rigging tips. Halyard position on the upper spar, which is called the gaff, gooseneck adjustments, and sail shaping with Cunningham and alcohol. First, a little review. The parts of a sail. The top corner of the sail is called the head. The front corner, the tack. The aft corner, the clue. The front edge is the luff. The bottom edge, the foot. The aft edge, the leech. The upper spar is called the gaff. And the lower spar is called the boom. You'll notice that we've tied the head of the sail to the end of the gaff with about 18 inches of small, low-stretch line. With the rig on the ground, tension this line just enough to remove the wrinkles between the sail clips. Too much or too little luff tension will affect the performance of the sail. Next, we mark two points on the gaff, the first at 54 inches and the second at 74 inches, measured from the junction of the end cap and the spar. The first mark is where the halyard is attached for racing. The second mark is where the halyard can be attached for recreational sailing. I attach the halyard with a simple clove hitch and an overhand stopper knot. Attaching the halyard to the lower mark gets the boom higher off the deck and makes it easier for two people to sail on the boat. Note that this should not be done in higher winds. The higher stresses can damage the mast step of the boat, an expensive fix. There are three sail controls that can be used to tune the sail for wind strength. An adjustable gooseneck, a Cunningham, and an outhaul. Here's the gooseneck with a quick-release lever installed. You'll notice that we have marked reference points on the boom starting at 14 inches aft of the end cap spar junction and every inch from there to 24 inches. The marks allow us to repeat successful settings for different wind strengths. Notice the effect of changing the gooseneck position. At the 14-inch mark, the sail is tilted forward at the 20-inch mark, the sail rocks back. The center of effort is the geometric center of the sail. In this shot, the gooseneck is at 14 inches. Now, let's move the gooseneck to the 20-inch position. Notice how the center of effort moves lower and forward. Lower means less healing. Forward means reduced weather helm both desirable in stronger winds. Here are some rough settings. Rough because they will vary with the wind and athleticism of the sailor. So, how can you tell if you have the gooseneck properly adjusted? A piece of electrical tape on the aft deck on the boat center line provides a quick reference to determine neutral helm, lee helm, or weather helm. Sail close hauled. If you have a weather helm, that is if you have to tug the tiller hard to windward to keep the boat from heading up into the wind, slide the lower spar forward in the gooseneck an inch or two. Conversely, if you have no feel at all in the tiller or have to push the tiller to leeward to sail close hauled, move the spar aft an inch or two in the gooseneck. When the boat is tuned just right, there will be only a very small amount of weather helm. It practically sails itself. This is what you want if you want to sail fast. The Cunningham controls the shape of the front of the sail, the luff. When winds are light to moderate, the sunfish sail maintains its design shape. But stronger winds push the draft of the sail aft. This causes greater healing and a loss of performance. Adjusting the Cunningham stretches the luff of the sail, drawing the draft forward to again form a proper sail shape. Another way to depower the sail in stronger winds is to use the outhaul to flatten the foot of the sail. A small low stretch line is attached to the boom end cap, passed through the sail clue, and back through the end cap, 
and forward along the boom. Next, an overhand knot is tied in the outhaul line about two feet aft of the outhaul cleat. This line is led through the outhaul cleat, back through the loop, and back fully through the cleat. Finally, the line is fed forward and around the gooseneck and back to the cockpit where it's available for adjustment even when the sail is eased fully out. Here's a crude diagram you can follow if you'd like to add an adjustable outhaul to your boat. So, here are the basics of tuning your sunfish sail. Adjust halyard on the gaff for casual sailing or performance. Adjust the gooseneck to reduce healing and weather helm. Adjust the Cunningham to maintain sail shape. Adjust the outhaul to flatten the lower third of the sail to improve upwind performance and to depower in higher winds. We hope these tricks will help make sailing the sunfish more pleasant and help you to be more competitive if you race. Have fun!